Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, that was a big pain. So, I do apologize, the stream did crash. I'm not sure what is going on with Streamlabs lately, but it occasionally just decides to cut out for no reason. But I think we're back now. Welcome back, guys. Uh, alright, so it's basically a second stream today, guys. So please remember to hit the like button again, if you would. Would seriously help me out. Do appreciate it. Alright. Okay, we back, we back. This unicorn is still having, like, a total fit, so I don't think that's gonna work. Alright. <laughs> I hate when these things happen. It, like, totally throws me off track. Uh, I was having a little trouble focusing anyway, and that just made it so much worse. I don't even know how long I've been live. Um, Alright, guys. We're gonna make it happen. It's all gonna work out. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. This unicorn needs to stop running. For real. It just won't stop. It will not stop running. I'm gonna move Shiny Doug back over here a little. Are you gonna calm down? Ever? Ever? I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Okay, we need to uh, turn on Bright Night again because we can't see. Uh, yes. Yes, you've been noticed. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my gosh, the stream has just decided to be terrible, guys. One second here. One second here. YouTube is making me angry. Can you not be stupid for like 10 seconds? <laughs> oh my God. Um, I do apologize guys, sorry. There are like major technical difficulties with this stream. I don't know what on earth YouTube is doing, but it's horrible. <laughs> it's really horrible. Um, all right, whatever, guys. We're going to try to make it happen. Uh, oh my gosh, Christina, welcome back. Yeah, uh, I do remember you as Chibi. I'm, like, super happy you managed to, like, stop by. Games of Center, you've been noticed. Uh, KGT, good luck on your exams tomorrow. Alright, I'm gonna roll with this. We're gonna see if we can get any of this working. Sri so says, why did the game crash? The game didn't crash through the YouTube decided to be stupid. Either that or Streamlabs. Um, one of the two decided to cut out. I'm not sure why. Basically, it, uh, it crashed the stream. Didn't crash anything else, just the stream. Uh, so the stream had to be restarted. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. We were able to give the Soothing Bomb to the Unicorn. This might save my night right here. I'm gonna wait for it to walk by this side again. <laughs> Mr. Tickle Clown, I love my Griff name Agana as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so mods, I will ask you to watch the chat there for a second if you are in there. Okay. Um... Queen Gamer says, hey, I can't see the Eerie Turret. Queen Gamer, uh, the Eerie Turret should be available. It's only available on multiplayer servers, so if you're playing single player, you won't be able to see it. Uh, but it's in the archetype section. I already own it, but the Eerie Turret is about uh, $20 to buy the archetype for, and then uh, you can craft it from there. One more kibble. I'm going to stand way back here and wait for it to get hungry. Demo says crouch. I might next time, but that worked out really well. It's not, it can't see me, so it's not panicking. <laughs> uh, Jamaican Wolf Gamer says, that's good. I'm backing at it again. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Christina says, I'm actually thinking about going back to Chibi, so if you see me change it, I think you know what happened. Sure thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by. I'm like really excited to see you again. It has been a while. Uh, yeah, no, you are not late at all. Um, it's basically a brand new stream here today. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we have so all sorts of issues. Um, she tames it, turns soul down road, right? I'm just waiting for the unicorn to get hungry. It should eventually get hungry. What's my free gift? Obsidian. Very helpful. I needed to be weighed down more today. Take this. Take it away. Bo says, kibble, kibble, kibble. Yep, kibble, kibble, kibble. I'm waiting for the unicorn to get hungry. It has some. Um. <laughs> Demo says, you should run this dungeon. It's really easy. Demo, uh, I do actually agree that this dungeon is pretty easy. I really like the boss as well. I was trying to make this a building stream. Now it's a unicorn taming stream. If it's a stream at all, because apparently every single stream that I do on YouTube now is going to be split into like 10 pieces. Big sigh. <coughs> uh, Alright. Starcrafter says, I was the first like on your second stream. Thank you so much, Starcrafter. I appreciate that. Uh, DZ, how's it going? No, you're not late at all. Fade says, why do you have your diving tank on? Because I was building underwater. Good point. We'll get rid of that noise. Um, yeah, I was building underwater, so I had the tank on while I was doing that, but now I don't need it, I guess. Ruben, welcome. I'm really glad you made it to a live stream as well. Eventually, this unicorn will get hungry, and then we will have a unicorn. Uh, I'm 28. Games of Center. Yeah, demo. Uh, I mean, the Dodic boss is pretty easy as well, but um, I like it. I like that there are different bosses. It makes it a nice change of pace from uh, from only having like three bosses on PC, etc. I'm gonna like give it a second. I don't want to spook it. I really don't want to spook it. Really do not want to spook this unicorn. Come here. Stay right there. I can't get up over the edge of this thing without jumping is the problem. Can I do the long reach? Long reach? I'm stuck. This is not going to work. Okay. That doesn't work at all. I'm going to have to wait for it to move. There we go. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Okay. Okay. Yay! That worked. Okay. We have a unicorn, guys. Finally. Ice Clap, how's it going? Oh my goodness. Uh, where to find unicorns? Uh, Nero, they, they can spawn literally anywhere on the map. Literally anywhere. Oh, I'm so excited we have a unicorn. This is fabulous. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Oh, so happy. So happy! Oh my goodness, it looks fabulous. I need another unicorn, guys. I need so many of these now. Um, <laughs> any new updates, Kelly? Uh, none so far. I don't know if there's going to be another update before the end of the year for uh for Arc Mobile, but it's been really good. Um, DZ, I don't know. That would be a question for the devs. Ooh, Mr. TickleCon has a male. We should definitely breed. What what level is it, actually? I want to breed up levels. KK, thank you so much for this, man. Um, I definitely need to, like, make more griffin kibble now so that we can have stuff to tame stuff. Eh. This thing is fabulous. Look at its rainbow jump. It's so good. All right. I'm going to put it in my stable, guys, because I don't want it to get hurt. It's going to come chill in the big stable with my ankies. Eh. Eh. There we go. And, uh, actually, it'll chill with my, uh, Eerie Equus here in this little hut. Both unique ponies. And it's fabulous. I love this so much. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, 
Unicorns don't spawn on Urbicarno. That is correct. They don't spawn on Urbicarno, but anywhere on the mainland they can spawn. Um, obviously not in the water, but they will spawn literally anywhere on the mainland, guys. So do be aware of that. Okay, it's not following me. Cool. Stay there and be safe. No getting hurt. Yay, we have a unicorn. I'm so excited. Serve a lag for the win, right? Um, <laughs> let's see. How do you get the kibble to tame it? So the griffin kibble you have to get by taming two griffins of the same family, breeding them up, and then uh, you have to use the fertilized griffin egg to make griffin kibble, because griffins don't naturally lay eggs, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would be a lot easier to tame them. Um, okay. I need to get back to this build, guys. I want to put my industrial cooker out here. Mostly for kicks, but also for giggles. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if I can place that. Oh my gosh. I, like, need to get back to focusing on building. Why do I have so much wood on me? What did I do? What was I making? I don't even remember. I think it was the trees. <laughs> it might have been the trees. Oh, I also need, uh, stone, cementing paste, and fiber. Okay. Stone... CP and fiber, of which I have a ton. Okay, I'm going to make one of these guys. All right, come on. I don't think I can actually put the tree in the pot, but I think I can use this pot in another way, so I'm actually kind of excited about that. All right, let's go ahead and put this away. Okay, we're going to start fleshing out the greenhouse. Now that I have the structure built, I actually do want to keep working on this. Okay. Um, Walker951, good morning. How's it going, man? Uh, Games of Center, I am never, ever going to reveal my uh, real name, just FYI. That's just not a thing that's ever going to happen. It's a big mistake to reveal your name on the internet, in my opinion. Uh, I am the iguana, now and forever. I would like this to be placed, like, right about here. Okay, so I need an irrigation pipe. So what I'm going to do is grab some of those. Yep. Uh, I don't even think I have them made yet, but essentially I need, like, an irrigation valve, which is pretty good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and learn it. Actually, it might be easier to find it by scrolling. Yeah, there it is. Water valve. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Yes. I need the intake. I need the valve. I need a straight pipe or two. Okay, luckily we're on the water, so this should actually be a really quick, easy thing to build. Um... I hope. I hope. Actually, I'm going to grab those two extra pipes just in case. There. Okay. Mr. Tickle Clan has something. What is it? Ooh, a 44. Oh, okay. That would actually be great. Oh, KK, grats on the griffin. That is awesome. Level 439 griffin. That's, like, really high. Um... <laughs> Andres, please do not be spamming, but, uh, hello to Nickers. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, that command said, so he says he's going to do a face reveal at 50k. Yeah, guys, face reveal at 50k. Just FYI, that's not happening today for sure. Okay, let me see if I can place this correctly. We'll try to be sneaky. I actually don't know if this is going to work the way that I want it to. Can I place this outside the building? That would be handy. Actually, that would work too. Uh, let me see if I can pick this pipe up. 
I hear a basilo. I hear a basilo. I think R has a, has a basilo here. That's actually amazing. They're so cute. All right, so right in the dead center of this, I am going to place my pipe. Well, this is going to work great. Um, pipe, irrigation, and water tap. Okay, now can I place this? Is that close enough? That is the question. Yes, perfect. All right, guys, so just in case you were wondering, this is like the best way to to water all crops and stuff is to uh, get like one of these uh, water valves because the water valve actually like lets water access um, pretty much everything that you have here. A gift for me? Or is this for me? Oh, it's an eerie basilo. Oh, it's an eerie basilo. I love it so much already. I love it so much already. Thank you for the congrats on the water base R. I love it. I'm actually really enjoying it. Hold up. I need to re-equip my no drown suit here. Oh, we have a basilo and it's the best thing ever, guys. It's eerie. I like your Tuso as well. I'm so happy right now, guys. I love Basilos. I love them so, so much. And this one is an eerie one. It's so cute. Look at its belly. This thing is fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at those stats. They make me happy. They make me so happy. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. I should make a boat with turrets and plant X. Uh, Aaron, that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, Dr. Tokara, there are actually like multiple Mr. Tickle Clowns. This one has actually been very cool so far. I actually really enjoy this person. So um, I'm sure the Mr. Tickle Clown you're thinking of is a different person because it's a very common one. Uh, oh my goodness. Nice theory, Baslo. Thank you so much, Dr. Tokara. Uh, what's my highest level dino? Kelly, my highest level dino is actually probably any of my 450s. I should have several of them on this server. It is a hard difficulty server, so it's really easy to get high level dinos. There we go. Basilo friend is gonna hang out right here in the dock area, nice and safe and sound. It's so cute. I love it so much. Eh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> back to working on this. Uh, so the plan is to put basically uh, crop plots all along this side so that I can start growing crops over here. Um, I think I'm gonna have like a bank of fridges here, which is pretty standard for next to an industrial cooker. Not really sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the space just yet, but I think that's a good start for sure. Um, I might put some decorative flowers in the corner that I don't plan to keep like super fertilized or anything. Just they're going to look nice. I really wish I could place this here. <gasps> it worked. Ah, it worked. Okay officially a thing. All right. That's, that makes me so happy. I was worried you wouldn't be able to do this. I can do this. This makes me so excited. Okay. Come to the teleporter. What's at the teleporter? Oh, you're Griffin. Oh, look at her. I'm gonna look at her stats. Those are some darn good stats. That is really good base melee. Grats on that. KK, that is fantastic. Oh, the Giga. Oh, I has a Giga friend. Look at it. Tass and KK gave me a Giga. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Oh, and it's a male. That means I have a mated pair because watermelon over there is a female. He's beautiful. I love him very much. He's going to look at me. It's going to be great. 
Wait, wait, I can do this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ha ha. That looks maybe a little bit dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't stand right under his mouth. Um, <laughs> what's a tickle clown? Uh, Kid Wyvern. Um, it is a it's a default name, and it's a I think it's a theory, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I always call them. Tickle chickens, tickle clowns. All right, I need more trees. I need more wood. I'm gonna make another stone pot, guys. I have to do it. This is how I'm decorating now. It's the whole thing. It became a thing. I don't need anywhere near that much stone, but that's okay. All right, need another one of these, and then I need a little bit of this. This is perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, the name, it came out perfect. It's uh, Morgan. I love it. Should I get the iPhone 8 or 8 Plus? Scramble Juice, if you have a choice, get the 8 Plus. The 8 Plus has one more gig of RAM, which is going to help a lot if you're playing games uh, like Ark, especially. Ark requires a lot of RAM. The 8 uh, will run it, but not anywhere near as well as the 8 Plus will. I know that because one of my family members has an 8, and it does not work as well. Ha ha. <coughs> Uh, what does the greenhouse effect do? Brenton, uh, it makes crops grow faster. It's its entire purpose. This makes me so happy. I need to place this just, just right. I didn't know that you could do this. And I'm so pleased, guys, because that makes the greenhouse look so much better now that we have, like, some decorations in here. Okay, crops um, crops in that corner. Water valve right in the center. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Eh. Mr. Jickleclown, absolutely. If you're coming with that unicorn, I am more than happy to breed you up, uh, breed you up a female. Definitely a thing. Get two lines going. It'll be great. Um, <laughs> why can't you play Ark on a 6S? Uh, I believe you can, but the 6S does not have a lot of RAM. It's a really old device, and it just doesn't have the power to run a game like Ark, unfortunately. Uh, at least not well. Nero, yes, I do play Undertale. I really like that game a lot. I'm not good at it, but I like it. Slick, uh, says Mr. Tickle Clown is everywhere. He's on my server in Northeast Shores and Northern Shores. That's because it's a default name, Slick. It's not, it's not at all the same person. Yeah, Mr. Tickle Clown, of course I will give you back your unicorn. I, I don't keep other people's tames. That's not cool. All right. Uh, why do I still have kibble in here? Very confused as to why there's kibble in there, but I guess it's a thing. Um, okay. I need crop plots. Crop plots, crop plots. Where am I going for that? Over here? Here? I don't know if I want to use the wooden ones, but I know that they work. I know that they get the greenhouse effect, and I don't think the stone ones do. Alright, we'll do it, guys. Uh, I need wood, thatch, fiber, and stone for those. Where is it? There it is. Thatch, fiber, and stone. All right, I think I actually need one more than this. Um, how do you get the greenhouse effect? Britain, uh, the crop just has to be completely surrounded by greenhouse structures. Luke Summers, welcome. How's it going, man? <laughs> Doctor says I need to add trees to my dust farm. You do, they're so cool looking. I'm so excited by them, honestly. Uh, Maria says, if a Note 9 is doing amazing, I think the Note 10 is going to be even more insane in a good way. Hopefully. I actually like, I have a Note 9, and I think it's pretty good. Um, there's definitely some differences between iOS and Android versions of the game, but, uh, I do really enjoy my Note 9. I think it plays it pretty well. Cosmic Gecko, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> Oral Pepsi, say going? how's it going? Uh, DJ Gaming says, hi, I'm late again. DJ Gaming, yes, but not too, too late, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Andres, if you keep spamming, we will have to time you out. P. 
Please do not spam in my chats. All right, what do we need for one more crop plot? I'm super weighed down right now. It's great. A little more wood. Perfect. All right. Okay, so this should be enough for each one of the four vegetable crops and then each one of the four uh, potent dust crops as well. Or are there five? There might be five, and I might be crazy. Might be crazy. Oh my goodness. Can we... Nope. 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 There it is. Get past the iguanodon tail. It's a whole thing. Such a cute giga. Hi, buddy. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> I'm like trying so hard to focus on things. It's really difficult. We have unicorn and eerie baslo and a beautiful giga. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to try to place these perfectly on each one of these foundation thingies because it makes me happy to see them look good. All right, hopefully these are all getting the greenhouse effect because this doesn't and these do. Perfect. Get it. Get the greenhouse effect. Don't make me pick you up. There we go. So see guys, uh, stone pots unfortunately don't get greenhouse effects, but these things do. So if you do have like, um, if you do want to plant like the potent dust flowers, I do recommend getting them, um, Basically, planting them in a regular crop plot because you will get a greenhouse effect from that, and it's a lot better. All right, I'm going to plant some more of these over here. I want to line these up as best I can. Make them look sort of uniform. That's the idea. Eh. Okay, I like it. Uh, so we've got our eight major crops over there. Um, gonna have a bank of fridges here. We've got some decorative items in the corners, which I think looks great. I'm actually gonna make more of these and put them around the base in certain places because I think that looks amazing and I'm going to incorporate that into my builds from here on out. Um, I love it. Brendan, the last stream. Uh, I had some... Uh, <sighs> I had some issues here. Uh, with, uh, with the stream. There's definitely been some issues with the streams cutting out lately, uh, so I did have to restart it. I think YouTube made some changes to how the streams are managed, and that uh, that has affected the quality a little bit in terms of like um, keeping a stream running. I'm not sure if the problem is on Streamlabs end or uh, YouTube's end, but either way, it's frustrating. It's so cute. Okay, let's go breed some unicorns, guys. Let's breed some unicorns. It's a whole thing. All of my animals are glitched into the ground, which is fantastic. Here, we'll move the unicorn into a different breeding pen. Eh. Come to the teleporter. Okay. Actually, let's just bring this horse with us. Oh. We can move her into the stable after. The stable's not quite done either, but it's getting close. All right. I love my unicorn. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. These things are amazing. Check that out, guys. They're gonna be buddies. No, no what? You're not admin and tribe. Uh, that's okay. Uh, put it on. Hold on. Whoops. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, I believe you can admin breed. Oh, whistle stop. I should have probably finished my sentence.
There we go. There we go, guys. We're breeding unicorns. This is a thing. Uh, thank you so much for taking care of that. Yeah, thank you so much, Chibi. I do understand. Uh, unfortunately, I think what happens is the slow mode gets turned off sometimes when stuff goes wrong, so uh, we do have to start, like, timing people out and banning people that I wouldn't have to normally if the slow mode was on. Uh, and thank you so much, Chibi. I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Eat the unicorn poop. Mysterious Gamer, we might do that at the end of the stream here. That could be a thing. <laughs> Iguana is schwelb. Yes, this is true, Arc Mobile iOS gameplay. Same person, definitely. <laughs> DJ says, Iguana, can you give a shout out to my friend, uh, Turtle Tut? Yeah, sure, there you go. Shout it out, man. Uh, Watermelon the Gamer, thank you so much. I'm really loving this base so far. I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Hopefully this unicorn will breed up perfectly. This is the worst part of any breeding process. It drives me insane. Why they no mate? What happened? What happened? They looked away from each other. Oh no. Why? Why'd they stop mating? What happened? What happened? Back this way. Here, I'm gonna put them facing each other. Something is attacking. That's a problem. Oh boy. Sorry guys, the unicorn wanted to help. Oh my goodness. My base is a little bit too big. What happened, KK? I don't think anything died, which is nice. There we go. I think maybe these unicorns will actually do this now. Oh my goodness, they're shy. I know, right, Aaron? <laughs> uh, Burger Boys, yes, I can read this comment. Uh, Russell, no, I definitely don't warn people for sending multiple admin applications. Um, I do a search to combine any because sometimes people do mess up and there's not an easy way to edit an admin application. So instead, uh, I usually have people just fill out another one. Um, put them in a pen. It's annoying, Demo. They don't stay close enough together. Uh, Musical Wolf, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Uh, are Dimetrodons useful? Mr. Scully, not particularly. Um, Dimorphodons are quite useful, but I don't think Dimetrodons are. They're really cool looking, but really the only thing they're super useful for is their kibble. Uh, Hannah says, how are you always so lucky to find unicorns? Hannah, we have a lot of people on this map. Um, I have only found one unicorn on this map personally. Someone else found this particular unicorn, and, uh, that is the unicorn that we just tamed. So, I didn't find this one. Uh, one of my tribe mates got lucky this time and was nice enough to give it to me so that we could tame it for the stream. Um, but I do have pretty good luck with unicorns in general, which makes me pretty happy. There we go, guys. So it doesn't look like we'll get the baby this stream, but uh, we are going to get a baby horse. It's going to be amazing. I love it so much already. There, we have some unicorn residue. Good to go. All right, Mr. Tickle Clown. Thank you so much for breeding. Uh, if it is a female, I will gift it to you. If it's a male, I will breed again and give you the next one. Yeah, no worries. You can put it in the taming pen safely. Should be okay there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this unicorn in the stable. It will breed in here. Easy to check on, nice and safe. Stay. Okay, I was like, wait, is that four days, 42 hours? No, it's four hours, 42 minutes. Cool. 
Um, Andrew Casper says, hey, like, if it's keep it up. Thank you so much, Andrew. I really appreciate that. I have a heck of a lot of fun making these videos. I'm not going to lie. It'll be, I'm wondering. Thank you, Mr. Tickle Clown. Should be okay in there. This is great. Oh, no, the Giga. Why? No, come back. Shiny Doug, what? What attacked out here? Yeah, I'm going to put some more eerie turrets up. I don't know why Shiny Doug is sitting over there, but it's a problem. Oh, boy. I don't want anything to drown. Oh. Mr. Giga, please. Please, don't be out there. Back this way. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the Giga go? Come here. Stop being derpy. Don't drown. Do not drown. Come here. He's 100% stuck over there. There we go. Oh my goodness. This is horrible. Um, <laughs> there we go. We got it. We got it. Uh, hey, JK, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> Ajanai says, in all my days playing Ark, I've never seen a greenhouse on water. Well, now you have, and it's amazing, dude. It looks... Uh, it looks awesome. It's not always that you can build on the water very easily, and uh, I think a greenhouse is a good way to go, especially since I like to build my docks out of glass. I think it works perfectly. All right. Bye, Mr. Tickle Clown. Thanks for coming out and hanging out, and thank you for breeding. That is awesome, dude. I like this quite a lot. It's, uh, it's not the best build in the world, but I think it looks pretty good. All right, let's see. What do I need to do next? Her. Probably the fridges. I need to place the fridges. Let me see if I can get these all together. I don't know how many fridges I have built already, but that's all right. Spartan likes the roof. That is a score. Okay, I don't think I have any fridges built, but I do have a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll make a few of these. It'll be good. Um, Aparna says you killed so many Jerboas. Hush, it's fine. It's fine. Don't think about the Jerboas, guys. Don't think about them. Um... <laughs> Bry12 says, hello, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, bye, Cameron, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, the channel has grown a ton, so thank you for stopping by today. Bye, Russell, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Do appreciate it. All right, so we've got these. Let's go ahead and make some uh, cables. I do not need that many. I don't even need that many. We'll just make a few. I also might need to make some more, um, some more of these canteens because I think I'm out. We will eat the poop at the end of the stream, Mysterious Gamer. That'll be a thing. Bye, DJ. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, Jordan, yes, we are still doing the forest gameplay. We should be able to, uh, do an episode... This week, I know I keep saying that, but I think this week I won't be sick, so that'll be nice. Nero says, what creature can defeat alphas? Uh, Nero, almost any tamed creature, if it's leveled enough, can, uh, can defeat an alpha. I, especially like alpha raptors, are not that difficult to defeat. Um, if you're talking about an alpha rex, Anything that is uh, has a high amount of armor and a decent amount of health will be able to do it, probably. Duck Quack, how's it going? Destiny Souther, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I don't want to turn that off. Hold on. All right, that's as many of those as I want. We'll make a few of these. I need this outlet and all of these. And 
I'm going to let those craft while we finish this. This is not perfect. I don't know if I want to do this or make another um, generator. Yeah, Spartan, I should place a convention there, actually. That's an idea. Here you go. I don't have one, though. I don't think I'm high enough level for it. Ugh. Yeah, I need literally two more levels. <laughs> two more levels and I can make a chem bench. Um, and then I will. I don't know if I'll put it in here or in my main workshop because this is actually kind of far away from my gathering dinos. So it might not be a good place for it. But I could always place it here on the back if I decide to do that. Is that crooked? I feel like that's crooked. Uh, here we go. Try this again. Why do I feel like it's crooked? That's better. All right. Beautiful. Sorry, guys. I'm like not looking at the chat while I'm trying to line these up because I want them to be actually well aligned because it matters to me. I might even be able to fit in a fifth fridge here. Oh, it's beautiful. They look great. Um, yeah, I might put one more fridge in here. There's a little bit of space, but I think that's good because I think that's where I'm going to hide the outlet. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I probably need to get an intersection. <laughs> look at Jerry. He's so cute. Oh, my God. He's got a bow tie and a top hat. It's great. Uh... <sighs> Let's see, why do people spam so much? Uh, sometimes it's a lag issue. Sometimes they think the message just didn't get seen so they send it multiple times. It happens. I need more cables. It's the whole thing. Whoops, not cables, cable. Intersection. Uh, Actually, let's do a vertical one. Hold up. I think I can make this work. And I think I'm going to learn the inclined one as well, guys. Ah, if I could spell, that would be helpful. It's a lot of Ingram points to waste, but that's all right. I have an idea. This might work. Maybe. Um, <laughs> let's see. What did I miss in the few minutes that I ran to grab my phone? DJ Gaming, not too much, honestly. Not too much at all. We are currently just trying to... Um, currently just trying to get some stuff set up here for the greenhouse. I'm trying to get the fridges established uh, where I want them to go. I am going to craft one more of those. Um... There we go. That'll work. Eh. Yep. So, uh, this is what we're attempting to do is basically, uh, get everything all sorted out, make the greenhouse look nice on the inside because it looks pretty good on the outside. And I think it's, uh, I think it's good. So I do want to make sure that I get everything here sorted as well. All right. Now this is going to be the real trick is trying to get these cables lined up where I want them to go. It's going to be a little bit ugly, but I think we can maybe make this work. Hold on. Let me see if I can use... It's a bit risky, but... If I can run these kind of over this way underwater, you won't see them from down below, which would make me happy. Uh, 
Let's do one more straight one. And then another intersection, I think. And then an incline. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay. Let me see if the outlet will work here. Did that break something or did that work? If that worked, then I just powered my greenhouse in the sneakiest way. I did. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I think that's great. You're not going to see any cables in here. They're all going to be like underwater. Okay, KK, I won't freak out if you destroy your beds. Uh, look at that. That worked great. I actually love that. That is very sneaky. You won't even see it. Unless you're underwater, which no one goes underwater. It's perfect. Genuinely perfect. Ow, I hit myself somehow. Uh, Alright, so let's place this last fridge. And then I think we're pretty much set on this for now, guys. I just need to plant some crops and... Uh, get John Lennon over there working on uh, on making some more fertilizer for us. I want to make sure this is not crooked. No crooked fridges. Nope. 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 Beautiful. It looks fantastic, guys. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> uh, bye, Nero. Thank you so much for coming out and watching. I do appreciate you hanging out with us today. Apple Pop says, do you have any tips for making an underwater bridge? Uh, Apple Pop, um, just be careful of your pillar placement. So make sure that wherever you're going, um, you're not going to run into like rocks like these because these are unbreakable and you won't be able to place pillars near them. Be really careful of the slope here. Um, any sort of slope is going to mess up your pillar placements as well. It's going to be really tricky, but it's uh, it's good stuff. It's pretty fun. I don't want you on passive. I want you on neutral, just in case. If you get attacked, I want you attacking something back. Cool. So that actually worked out really great. And what's really cool is that there's actually room for me now to extend these wires out underneath the greenhouse and maybe even put up some eerie turrets um, on the dock here, which would be super handy just for keeping stuff away. I don't want to like have more creatures out here killing stuff. So I think that's going to be great. I love it. I'm actually really, really pleased with that. I need to put more fuel in this like really badly. Let me just, uh, let me grab a little from this one because I know this one has some fuel in it. A little bit, anyway. Because we about to run out. Hi, Anki. There, we'll take one of these. I'll make more afterwards, but uh, for now this will keep everything going. All right. I like it. The base is coming along very slowly, but it is coming along, and I think it's great, guys. Uh, Jace is going to hear the best. Thank you so much, Jade. I appreciate that. Uh, Friday Night Gaming, welcome. Uh, what's going on? Currently, we were doing some building. Um, it's gone pretty well so far. A ramp to it somewhere? I might. I might. Not sure where I would, but I could do that. Um... It's gone really well so far. So basically we built this whole dock uh, area here and then we expanded it out this way to include a greenhouse and then we've built up this entire greenhouse area so far. Um, kind of just starting to sort stuff out around the base and try to make it look a little nicer. Um, I still have a stable down there that I need to finish but everything else is going pretty well so far. I like it. We have power in there. We have water. Um, and I might even continue building. I might, like, make an extra set of pillars here, make a pathway back here, and build something else behind the greenhouse. That's definitely a possibility. Because I love the way that this is coming together. Um, Friday night, please do not spam. Please, please don't spam the chat. Uh, Cash says, Iguana, hi, can we be allied in Iguana PvP? Uh, no, aw. 
<laughs> Cash, thank you so much for knowing that I was going to say no. Uh, it's just because I don't play on PvP very much, and uh, I am in an admin tribe, and I don't want people who are not admins getting too close to admin bases and, like, causing problems. So I do apologize. And I'm not saying it would be you, but it might be a tribe mate. Um, Lazy Vampire says, what server is this? Uh, server is called Toast Oasis. Yeah. Okay. Um, Spartan just put pillars on the sides of the dock. Yeah, I do like the way that they look, kind of, but... If I put ramps on it... I don't know. I like ramps, but they also don't get uh, all the way down. There we go. I like that I can hop up on these without even needing a ramp. Makes me happy. There we go. Um, Hamari <laughs> says, uh, GG, welcome Hamari, how's it going? Uh, Krishna, what did you miss? Not too much, Krishna. Um, got this greenhouse up. We're breeding unicorns, but they won't be ready by the time uh, the stream ends, unfortunately. But otherwise, everything is going really well. I figured out you can put these trees in pots, which makes me happy, because now I can put trees wherever I want, um... You can't place them directly on the floor, but you can place them in a pot, which is fantastic. That makes me super happy. All right, let's go see what John Lennon's doing. I feel like he's got some fertilizer on him, probably. I did give him some poop last time I was out here. Yep, just a little. Good job, buddy. Okay, uh, I might leave him in here for now because he's pretty protected back here. I have, like, my mini greenhouse. I did not mean to punch that. Dang it. I hate when I punch my stuff. Makes me sad. Alright. Come over this way. I do think there is actually an extra potent dust uh, flower, but I'm not sure what it is. Alright. Let's go ahead and start putting fertilizer in these, I'm going to start, like, making fertilizer. I want to fill all of these up before I start planting things, because that makes it a lot easier to maintain. It's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> is Toast Oasis PvP or PvE? It is PvP, but we play by PvE rules. Marvelous Black Panther, yes, one day we will get a face cam. Uh, Cash... I'm so sorry that you're not allowed to join the Discord, man. That is so rough. That does make it a lot harder. I feel like I would actually trust you on there. Um, as a, compared to some people. <laughs> I have one flower. That is not what I wanted. I wanted a seed from you. Alright. That's okay. I still have this on, and it's starting to drive me crazy. There we go. That's a little better. All right, let's go put some of our spare mats away. Uh, yeah, I'll put them back in the fabricator for now. That way I'll remember what they are. Okay. And uh, I'll take one of these. Perfect. Yeah, guys, so, so far, uh, everything's been going super well on this. Um, I'm actually surprised that that build came together as well as it did. I really, really like the way that it turned out. Um, I think it looks pretty great overall. Um, and I'm really, really happy with it. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I have some spare pipes that I think I'm going to throw. Can I put them in here? I can. I have just enough space for now. All right. Well, guys, uh, I do think we're probably going to go ahead and end the stream off uh, just about here. It's been about three hours, guys. It's been absolutely crazy between the two streams. And, uh, yeah, we've kind of completed this build as far as I'm concerned for now. Uh, we may continue adding onto this in the future, but I think it looks great the way it is. So, uh, you guys wanted to see me, um, you guys wanted to see me eat unicorn poop. There you go. The greenhouse looks extra trippy now. Oh, I've never tried to look at one of those uh, loot drops before. Oh my goodness. Everything is crazy. And I like it. Like, a lot. Um, <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Lucas says, what's the thing next to the outpost in your inventory on the right? 
mushrooms. Or this. This is a stone workshop. Outpost, stone workshop, factory, uh, chef station, and then the metal foundry. All of these items I was given uh, in extravagant gifts. Um, you wish you could become a patron? Uh, yeah, I wish so too, Bucketman. We have some, like, really great communities going on. All right, let's go ahead and stand in our beautiful new greenhouse for a moment, guys. Everything looks so crazy, and I love it. Uh, ah, oh, look, it even applies to the orbital camera. That's amazing. You could take some really cool pictures with this. Oh, look at my vampire eyes. They look super crazy. They're changing color so much. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right, guys. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you all hanging out with me today. Thank you so much to everyone who liked liked twice and then donated on either of the two streams. Um, I hope you are all having a fantastic night and that it continues on for you. And I hope you guys have a great week as well. So please do remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys, if you have not already. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will go ahead and catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.